sports. It's in the game. Ruthless Robbie Lawler for the UFC welterweight championship of the world. Robbie Lawler is a man on a mission right now, and he's very motivated to defend his title for the first time. This is really do or die time. I'm not less hungry now that I have a title. If anything, I'm more hungry. I'm ready to fight. I'm a fighter. This is who I am. Lawler McDonald for the belt. All right, are you ready? You ready? Let's go, guys, fight. Here we go! So far, Robbie, laying back, very patient. Beautiful shot. Look at that sprawl by Lawler. Oh, but enough. Get in this face, Rob. Close the gap with the one-two. Oh, nice combination. And again, that was that one-two by Robbie. Roy's busted up a bit, Joe. But clearly, from the second round, it's been Robbie Lawler doing the most damage. Oh, Robbie staggered by he that turned. kick. He turned. Again with the head kick. Robbie's in big trouble, Mike. McDonald pouring it on. Robbie looking to survive. Wow. Robbie Lawler, he's badly hurt. This is a wild fight. Championship rounds. There's that again head kick that again. Kick. That front kick. Yes. Bus combination. Nice oh. Completely different fight. Rory's just picking him apart from here. Wow. Good, it's this. Stare down Rory, Joe. Rory was going nowhere. We listen in the Lawler's corner. Robbie, listen to me, man. Look at Look. Robbie, you need to focus. He's up three to one. He is busted up. He is ready to quit. There's a lot of anxiety in the corner of the champion, Mike. And he may very well have to finish to retain his title. Fifth and final round. Ready. Five minutes remain. Welterweight belt on the line, and what a title fight we have had tonight. Who will leave with the belt? Lawler and McDonald back and forth, willing to stand and trade. It looked like we might have a new champion in round number four. By far the best round for Rory McDonald in ruthless Robbie Lawler. Joe, we've been watching him for over a decade. Robbie is showing patience in this fight, Mike. We're seeing a thinking Robbie Lawler. It's, you're seeing a guy who's still growing and learning. I mean, Robbie even said the other day, Joe, that he's grown as a fighter in the last seven months. Well, they say that about a guy who becomes a champion. When, when the guy yeah. becomes a champion, his confidence grows. And you saw that from Robbie as he's standing there being introduced. He was loving it. Yeah. He's enjoying it. Absolutely. Much more animated than we've seen from him in the past. I don't think he's ever looked better. Footwork, outstanding. Precise with the jab, scoring with combinations. What a title fight. Rory is really busted up. He is a mask of blood. Big roundhouse kick. 
The jab by Lawler. Nice job keeping those hands busy. Huge elbow. elbow. Hard left hand. Wow. Oh, stunning jab. Oh, that's a big left. Hard straight punch. Quick jab. Joe doing a good job with his jab. Big roundhouse kick. Lola, always looking for the knockout. He has said if I played baseball, I'd want to be a home run hitter. If I played football, I'd be a defensive end, and I'd look for the sack. Oh! It is all over! Wow. Wow. Robbie Lola remains Man. the welterweight champion! Wow. What a fight. What a fight. And what a decisive ending for Robbie Lawler in a fight where he was really pushed. Really pushed to the limit on the brink of losing his title. Came back and stopped Rory McDonald in the final round. Amazing. And here we see it from another camera angle. Declaring the winner. And still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Rufus Robbie Up next, it's a lightweight matchup between Connor, Notorious McGregor, and Ultimate Fighter winner Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson looking very confident as he makes his way out to the octagon. He is ready to go. This guy has nasty arm bars and leg locks. It is his specialty, and if he gets a hold of a limb, you either tap or it snaps. Tony Ferguson steps inside the octagon, and he's ready to fight. Dublin, Ireland, the 
victorious one. Conor McGregor, the first ever two-weight champion back in his home country. He is as precise as any striker in the octagon today. And the national amateur boxing champion lacks no confidence as he enters the octagon again tonight. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan-favorite combination. Conor McGregor enters the octagon, and he's ready to fight. For this lightweight fight, McGregor is 27, Ferguson is 32. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. The moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. It's time! All round in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing folks. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Ventura, California, Tony El Kukui And now we his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of... 20 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin Island! The notorious Potter McGregor! All right, get to the rules of the locker room. I want you to be in with your hands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners. They refused to touch gloves, and this started at the weigh-ins yesterday, where the stare-down was intense. It's time to get things started. Okay, you ready? You ready? Let's go, hit! trunks for Ferguson, black trunks for McGregor. Conor McGregor has a very unpredictable striking style, throws a lot of wild kicks, has some excellent knockout power in his punches, and has a very strong... Big swing and a miss. McGregor with the solid jam. Swinging early, both men. And a good takedown by... Man, he's got the reversal. Trying to mount, he's got it. Full mount. Hammer fist. Full guard. Hip escape. Beautifully executed sweep. He's working from full mount again. Good ground and pound by McGregor. He hit him with a big hammer fist. Half guard. 
And he turns it around into full guard. And mount again. He's got the back. This is where he's outstanding. Half guard. Got the mount again. Ferguson going for a submission. He's in full mount here, and he's looking for the arm bar. He popped out of the submission. He's got the back. This is where he's outstanding. From, uh, from a flattening out position, when you got a guy face down, you can really hurt him with that position. Great transitions on the ground. Big what a huge hand. right hand! <laughs> Ferguson gets it back to side control. Huge Big shot right to hand. right! 30 seconds! Trying to take the back here. Oh, oh big right hand. hand. Ferguson's got the back again. That's it! It is all over! Beautiful knockout victory right as the round was ending. Joe, here's the finish on our fight replay. And let's look at the replay and see the end of this fight. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ferguson. Here we go! Fight scheduled for five. Five minute round. White trunks for Ferguson. Black trunk. Now oh, he's taking some punishment here early, Joe. Man, he just missed. Oh! Look at the top! Vicious combinations. Nice kicks by Ferguson. He defends the head strike with a strong carry. A 360-degree spinning back kick. Went for the head kick. Closing the distance. He's got the clinch, Joe. And he's taken down by McGregor. Nice reversal here into half guard. Double. Two minutes remain in the round. He's moved back into side control. Really good movement on the ground. And he's going to try to take the back. Oh, he sweeps. Look at his position now. Damaging left, left hand. hand. Full guard. We got for the arm. We got for the arm. Throws the leg over the face. Now he's got to extend his body. And he escaped the arm bar. He's going to try to take the back, I think. Side control. Really nice movement on the ground. 
good sweep right into side control. That eye swelled up so quick, Mike. You got to wonder whether or not that's a fractured orbital. Right, round one right in the books. Joe, that was a great round with a big knockdown from Tony Ferguson. Yeah, that knockdown should have won him the... Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? One. Round two. Starting off this round, you got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. They're locked in a clinch. Oh, he lands the roundhouse to the bottom. Solid straight. Oh, he connected with that right hand. McGregor's just missed with that uppercut. He got tagged there. He's doing a good job of throwing punches and kicks from all angles here. Really doing a great job of mixing things up. Big strike. You got hurt bad. Trying to stay out of trouble here. Powerful kick. There he is. Got the takedown. And now he's in full mount. He's got his back now. He's got his back. Ferguson going for a choke here. And he gets out of that rear naked choke. He's got the full mount, Joe. Man, he gave up his back. Flattened him out. In half guard. Oh, wow. That was a big left hand he connected with. Hard straight punch. Come on, man. Let's get that takedown score in the points. McGregor gets caught by a straight right. Leg kick. Wow, he goes down. McGregor with a nasty body kick. There, Mike. His opponent. Look at this. Looks for that front kick, but missed it. Nice kick to the body by McGregor. Delivered that right to the midsection oh, of his opponent. Knee. Solid shot to the body. Vicious shot to the body. Oh, big, big head kick. Hand jump. Oh, very hey. nice. And the round comes to an end. And there's a nice head kick that lands. We really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. The beautiful area. You ready? You ready? Two Round five. three. Man, he just avoided damage. Great block. Nice spinning back, and he landed that much. Ferguson with the combo to the body. Wow, what a great job mixing things up. Nice kick to the body. McGregor with a good jab. Man, you can see the effect of those punches that have landed. Because his left eye is really starting to close up. Definitely attacking with an arm triangle here. That choke is locked up. Switches his hips back. Set up the choke, completed the job, and got the victory.
Time now for our fight replay. Tremendous pressure here. You can see on this arm triangle. Cinches it in tight and gets the victory. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta is going to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 20 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by a tap out, Tony Ferguson! Tony Ferguson earns the win by submission.